Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and happy Saturday. I hope you're going to have a great weekend. Uh, I plan on having a nice calm weekend and being home this weekend. So uh, yeah, I'm just sitting here in my craft room and starting a new some new journals. And I'll show you what I have picked out. I want to get started on uh, the covers and working with these books. So I've got a couple of little golden books here. Let me find them. I was pulling out some things I might want to use on the inside of the cover for a couple for these little ones. But this is a first little golden book, you know, the smaller ones. This is some paper I might put on the inside that I pulled out. I think it looks nice with these colors. And I'm just starting from basics here. Um, so this is Little Duck and the New Baby. And so those are some, you know, six by six paper pads. I thought I might maybe try to use some of those. And uh, since this is a smaller uh, journal, I could use some of that, hopefully. So that one. And then the other small one I have pulled out. Let's see. This I have pulled out for, yeah, this right here. This is um, the Gingerbread Man. The Richard Scary Gingerbread Man. And then I have this, some papers in here that I thought would look nice in here, and some papers in here. See how it has purple? This is purple, and the hat, his hat is purple. So there's some purples in here I thought might look nice with this one. So those two I've pulled out, and that, that all goes together. And then I have this Disney, um, little Disney book here, Brother Bear. And it already has, the Disney books already have nice inside uh, papers inside the covers and this one this book is in excellent shape so uh, yeah I don't need to put anything inside that I just have to get it going and then this is an older one uh, this one here Peter Pan let's see this one is let's see what the copyright if there is a copyright in here uh, let's see this one is yeah, this one's not that old this one's 2003 and this one is old here an older I don't know shall we guess or just look <laughs> it looks like it could be 60s it could be 60s it might be 70s though uh 72 72 yeah 72 yeah this looked older than any of the books my kids read when they were little so that's why i thought it was maybe 60s or 70s because they weren't born until way like 80s and 90s type of thing but um yeah, I just got home and uh, we went out to dinner at a Mexican restaurant with my husband. I went with my husband and my youngest son. We were gonna, we were gonna go, we were gonna go out to make for Mexican and then um, food. And then um, I got home and we were like, oh, we maybe we won't go. And then my son called and said, "Are you going?" And we're like. I don't know why you want to go and he's like yeah I thought you were going I wanted to go and he, we're like okay we're going <laughs> we're going if you want to go we're going you know when you have a chance to uh, eat with your kids or hang out with your kids when they're grown you kind of like uh, yeah we're going let's go <laughs> type of thing so uh, let's get started I thought I would start by I'm starting from the very very beginning here I didn't do anything yet but what I just showed you pick out a few papers so I have some baby wipes here and I wipe I want to wipe all these off. See I'm starting from the very beginning. <laughs> but I mean this is what I'm doing tonight, so I just thought I'd share. Um this cover is uh not too dirty, but I thought I thought, thought I'd see if I could wipe any of this off. I'm just careful though not to wipe the paper right off, you know what I mean? <laughs> you can go right through the paper if you're not careful careful because this is just really paper kind of with a glossy finish over it uh but it's not very thick if you saw my last th was it thrifty thursday one of the books actually had the paper peeled up and i glued it back down but this whole paper was peeled up i wanted the little golden books i never i never got one in that with like that before and i was like oh wow that's really not very thick is it but it's not super thin but it's not Okay, I think this is about as clean as I'm getting it without taking the paper off. See, there's some spots there, but I mean, this one, we didn't look at the dates on these yet. I'll show, I'll, we'll look at the dates on these in just a second. Let me finish cleaning this one. Sorry, I need to make some room here. Just kind of got everything out that I thought I might use tonight and uh, put it here on my table and 
turn on the camera so uh, hope everyone is uh, had a good week and is going to have a good weekend. I don't have anything planned for this weekend. Nothing at all. <laughs> so, except for crafting and, you know, house cleaning. Okay, so that one, I guess it's got a little bit more life left than this one. I don't want to waste it. Okay, so let's look at the date here and let this dry. This one's 1988, this little duck one. And so let's see what went with the little duck. This paper, because it has a lot of yellows in it, went with the little duck. And this paper, I think. Okay, so this paper, there was some yellowish plaid paper in here that I thought was cool, and a lot of purple and yellow, green and yellow in there, or at least pur purple and green. So the gingerbread man, I thought this was really cute. I have a bunch of these, and I want to see. You know, I either needed to destash de them and just put them in my shop, or make journals out of them. But I can't, you know. I need to destash and and quick like quick. <laughs> I want. I'm trying to organize my craft room. There's a sticker right here. I have my goo gone. I was going to use if I can't get it off with just a wet uh, baby wipe. But um, yeah, I just wanted to see if I. I don't want to spend like three weeks making one of these. I want to just make some quick, simple journals, so I don't have to. So I mean, that's what I bought these for. I didn't buy them just to sell them in my shop. I bought them to make journals out of. But I'm getting overloaded with books, so I need to, you know, get on the stick here and do something one, one way or the other. Okay, that's almost off. I wonder if I could just use a little bit of Goo Gone. Will it come off all the way? Here's my Goo Gone. I got this at, at Dollar Tree. It's only a dollar, so I figured why not try it? I had never tried it before, but some subbies recommended it. So I thought, well, let me try it. It's only a dollar. Why not? And it has worked. I've used it on other things, so... Let's see if we can get this sticker. There's some paper on there. And some, yeah, I think it's coming off. Wow, look at that. I mean, I've used it before and it worked pretty much, but I used it on different things. So, yeah, I think it's coming right off pretty much. I mean, all you're going to have left is just some maybe discoloration where the sticker was, but no sticker left. Pretty much. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to take the paper off. But I think, uh, I think that is pretty good. Pretty good. Do you saw this? Did you see the sticker? Okay. Yeah. Awesome. That worked well, didn't it? Okay, I'm just using the wet part now just to wipe off the goo gone <laughs> and make sure this is clean as I can get it. On this side. I think I already wiped this side down, but let me try it one more time, make sure. A little bit of a spot there, but you know, it can't be perfect because it is an older book. So I'm going to leave it at that so I don't get the paper, start taking the paper off. A little something here that I'm going to leave and a little something there that I'm going to leave. Okay, I mean, it's good. I'll glue that down in just a second. I want to tell you what year this one is. This one is 1975. Okay, so here's a, uh, oh, I'm taking, no, I'm taking the, taking the spine off so those two are ready let's get a new baby wipe now and we'll clean these I have probably shown you these before in my one of my thrifty videos possibly uh, yeah I think I have maybe not the Peter Pan and the brother bear I'm not sure I think I had maybe had these before I started doing videos but I think the little ones I had I picked up after I started doing videos and showed those one time probably a while ago so this is older and it's got uh, a plastic covering over it and I've never peeled the, this plastic off of a off of a Disney book I did practice the other day I had brought home those little golden book dictionaries were they dictionaries or encyclopedias one of the other and some of the, that cellophane covering was coming off of a couple of them. So I went ahead and actually, and it was a little kind of, I'm just barely loose on others. So I think I had four of them, four or five of them. I think I had four. And uh, so I went ahead and the one that was the loosest, I went ahead and pulled 
the cellophane off of that one as much as I could and as best, you know, as best as I could. And uh, it really came off uh, pretty nice. And the underneath, what's underneath it is still shiny and pretty. So it's not like it left it with a really, you know, terrible grungy cover or anything. It looked pretty underneath. So if you, you know, I said, one of my subbies said she had tried it and it, I think it worked out fine for her. So she encouraged me to try it and I did and uh, and it worked out well for me too. So that's just a little information if you get any of those books, the little golden book dictionaries that have the cellophane over them, you know, that it starts peeling off. It did just fine when they peeled it off. It looked beautiful underneath. So um, just saying don't, you don't have to be afraid to peel that off because it was fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? It looked brand new underneath. It was awesome. Okay, so we don't need this anymore. Let me put that lid on there so I don't spill it. And this one is clean. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it gets any clearer than that. So, shit, which one? I want? I kind of want to start with the little ones because I already made two bigger ones. And these are going to be ring binders. But uh, first, let's see, let me put these over here out of the way for a second. Um, I have this big, let me show you this. I forgot that I had this the other day when I did the last two, um, like books I made that are, were the bigger ones, the, uh, the sun journal and the, um, what was it? Sleeping beauty. I forgot that I had this hole punch and I was using my crocodile, but that's what I bought this for. When I first started doing journals, I did ring, ring, uh, journals, ring bound journals. And I bought this big and it was a good price on um, Amazon. It probably still is. I don't know if they still have it. I'll have to look. But these are, it's three holes, just three holes. See, there's three little silver things here. And it's totally adjustable. They like, not totally, but very adjustable. You know what I mean? These, I can slide these up and down and this too. So I'm going to try to use it with, um, I can try to use it with these and those. But we'll see about that. First, we got to get these apart. So, all I do to do that, and we're just going to work, you know, for about 30 minutes here, probably about 20 more now that we've uh, done some cleaning here and taken probably about 10 minutes to do that. But uh, let's go ahead and take these apart. So, if you don't like to watch people take books apart, you know, you might want to skip this part. But <laughs> this is how you make a journal with a book, right? You got to take the book apart. So, I'm just going to cut right here, and my plan is to um, make these into cute little journals, cute little, you know, fun. I've been hearing people call them by different names. Now, I know that, what is it, Natasha calls them treasure books, which I think is really cool, and because you save your treasures in them, pictures or pictures or whatever, words, and whatever you put into one, or um, journal, junk journal, of course. What else have I heard? Uh, you know, smash book, um, scrapbook. <laughs> they can be by, really called by all of those names because they're kind of all very similar, right? And then recently I've been watching um, Thrifty Day and she calls them magic memory books. So I thought that was a very cool name also. Okay, let's go ahead and cut this one. And let's see. So, yeah, the pages are still on there, aren't they? Gotta get the pages loose. But right now we can just work on the covers and I'll get the pages loose later. But I want to uh, put all of the pages from these books into these little journals. So that will be, you know, we'll be using all of it really except for the spine. The little golden spine. And I, I would use the spine, but um, it's just a lot of times, uh, you know... I have found that it's made my life more difficult if I try to leave the spine on there. You know what I mean? Uh, even if I open it up and take the staples out and leave it on there, you can do that. But it just, uh, unfortunately, I found it easier just not just to not use it. So that's the way it is, right? <laughs> so, okay. So let me see. What do we want to do next? We're going to take this little spine. I'm going to put these pages over here with my other books. And I want to make this even. So I'm going to cut right here and just make sure this is all nice and even here. 
now that we have it separated. See, it's all nice and straight. And that's the back. This is the front. It's pretty good, but it could be a little, a little less hanging off here in certain spots. I want it to be, you know, since it's a ring binder and I'm not, I mean, I'm going to cover this up a little bit on the outside, you know, the front, not the back. Well, the back too, probably because I'm putting some paper in there because I don't like that inside. It's kind of, this is written on, so I'm going to cover that up. So, but, um, yeah, so that looks good. Let's, um, let's get rid of this. So we've got that one ready to work on. And these are the papers. I want to keep, I'm trying to keep it together so I remember which, the papers with the books, so I remember which ones I picked out for which books. Because it is, uh, I'm, I am doing a bit of color coordinating with the papers. So let's cut this one. Uh, so yeah, if you have any little uh, books or any kind of books that you want to, um, you know, make into a ring bound journal, you can do this along with me. The rings are just loose leaf, uh, you know, notebook rings. I think uh, they're either called binder rings or loose leaf rings, anything like that on Amazon. And that's where I get mine on Amazon. Or actually, I get, did get some at Dollar Tree. That's right, I got some at Dollar Tree too. I've got some bronze ones too, which I think I used. Well, I do have some left that I got at, where did I get those? At Michael's. I got those at Michael's. Some bronze ones, but they have the bronze ones on on Amazon too. I looked in the last week or so because I just wanted to see what they had, you know. Okay, so we clean this. I'm going to bring this over because I might be glue. I'm going to be gluing. Sorry, this is to protect my mat here from the glue. And this is a little kind of, I guess I made this, this was going to be a page, one of my journals, and I guess I left it out. I think I left it out, my mistake. So, um, but this paper right here, the colors are like perfect for this. See how they go? The greens and yellows. There's some grays in there, but I thought it would just, it was out of all my papers, my six by, by six papers, and I pulled all my scrapbook papers out of my, um, scrap box too and this was the one that went the best so out of all those papers that I looked at so um, and I didn't want anything like too overpowering when you first open the book because there were some other papers that went you know with the colors but they were kind of like you know jumped out at you too much I want it to be just pretty when you open it up you know so I'm going to cut this down and let me see what I need let me put this little pile over here and we'll work on that next. I'm just, just concentrate on this one until we run out of, unless we run out of time, we'll just do one and work on the other one in another video. But I need to cut this. Let me grab my paper cutter, which is right behind me. I have it handy all the time because <laughs> I use it all the time. Okay, so I need to actually cut this apart here. I think I hear rain. I didn't think it was going to rain tonight. I watered my plants earlier, my garden. <laughs> my tomatoes were drooping, and I was like, oh my goodness. I, I wanted to do it this morning, and I just didn't have time. I was going to be very late to work if I took time to water my garden. And so I didn't, and then when I got home, I was like, oh, my poor plants. I have to water them right now before we go out to eat or anything so they don't just i knew they're not going to die but they just were sad and droopy <laughs> so i watered them of course now it's raining okay so i got this go ahead glue this together here too so i need to get that apart i'm just cutting the glue section off here I mean, I could use this in the journal. I thought about using it in the journal just like it was, but the colors are so... Wow, I put a lot of glue on there. <laughs> I put it on there to last, right? <laughs> okay, I'm, like, I'm still not loose. Goodness gracious. Uh, yeah, I'm just cutting the glue section off, but it's quite wider than I thought. 
All right, that should do it. Got it loose. Okay, I hope is it too thin now? Watch, watch it be too thin. No, thank goodness. All right, I gotta do the same thing over here. Yeah, it's about a quarter of an inch in, so I was thinking it was less than that, but it's a good quarter of an inch in where the glue, the glued part on here. But the pep, yeah, the colors were so perfect on this. I was like. I can't use that for a page. I have to use that inside the covers. It's just too perfect. And I like to use one-sided in there too. This is double-sided and I wanted to use some one-sided paper, but I was just like, nope, nope, nope. This is too perfect. I have to use it here. So I'm gonna see. And the pattern can go either way on that. It's not like it doesn't have an up or down, but okay, I do not want to cut it too small. <laughs> So I think I'm going to glue it down and then cut it, possibly. I hope that will work. It should work, right? All right, so let's do it. I just don't want to cut it too small. Okay, art glitter glue is what I'm going to use. I cleaned my little nozzle out this week. It was just, I don't know wasn't flowing at hardly at all and I was like something's got to give here so I went took it all apart cleaned it and uh, hopefully it's working better now I need to order some new another new bottle because it's about down to here yeah it's about down to here right here and uh, I looked at the prices and I was like I put it on um, I, I looked on Amazon and then I put it on, uh, I have Honey, H-O-N-E-Y, Honey. And I put it on a watch list for Honey to, for a price drop. <laughs> you can do that on Honey. I don't know if you can do it on Amazon Assistant. You might be able to. Just Honey popped up. Because I have Honey and Amazon Assistant or whatever that uh, compares prices for you when you're looking at something. And so uh, Honey popped up and it, I was uh, looking at... Art right, glitter glue and I was like hesitating like oh my goodness it's so expensive and I was and I don't have to get it right now you know I have that much left two what two or so inches and um, honey popped up and said do you want me to put this on a watch list price drop list you know and I said yes please let me know if the price goes down so uh, yeah hopefully even if it goes down to two or three dollars, that would be, or even a dollar <laughs> at all, that would be nice. I have seen it uh, has given me price drops on other things before, so it does work. And that's honey. It's a, uh, I think it's an extension, and it kind of hovers up in your toolbar, you know what I mean? Like Amazon Assistant, if you use that. So, yeah, it's good though. It um, will find coupons for you also if you're buying something. It will check to see if there's any coupons, which I really like, and I have found some really good coupons. It ha I mean, it has. Honey has found really good coupons for me on uh, stuff. I mean, really good, like several dollars off. Like, um, I mean, the best one was probably one time I was ordering a day timer for my boss. He gets a new day timer every year. Um, and so at the end of the near the end of the year, you know, in the fall, we order his day timer and I was ordering it a couple of years ago and it found me a coupon, Honey did, for like $15 off plus I got free shipping and I was like, oh my goodness, my boss better be really happy because I got him a deal. <laughs> I got him a deal. He probably doesn't even know, but I told the bookkeeper so she knows. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, it's good. All right, I'm going to cut this. No hesitating, just cut away right around the edges here so we can get this done. See what it looks like. There we go. See how pretty? See the colors? And you open the book, and there you go. Pretty. It's pretty now. I'll probably put a pocket or something in there because I'm not, it's not something I don't want to cover up. I just wanted a pretty, pretty inside. So I'll put that over there to be used on something else and then this one we can use here so we'll do the same thing glue this down here now I'm watching my time let's see what time it is I 
hope we have a little bit more time to finish this one at least. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay. So I hope you guys are crafting with me today or hanging out. I know I like to have videos on when I'm doing everything around the house. Crafting, cleaning. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, when I get ready in the morning, I have a little Chromebook. You guys, this is just inside information here. <laughs> I have a little Chromebook. So I could just have a little computer. You know, Chromebook is just basically internet. So, but I needed uh, something besides my ma main computer. I just needed something small. I can take it on trips with me and I can do a lot on it. So, yeah. It's a little Chromebook, and I take it into the bathroom <laughs> when I'm getting ready, you know, taking a shower, getting dressed, whatever, and um, and I can watch videos. I catch up with my videos getting ready in the morning, so yeah, a little Chromebook. It doesn't take up much room on the bathroom counter, <laughs> and uh, I can catch up on my videos, and you know, I can do everything on there. I can... Uh, I can like and you know just like you're watching it on a computer it is a computer so I can um, like and subscribe and comment and <laughs> save to watch later or whatever I need to do it, it's awesome it's just, I do a lot of catching up on my videos that way so yep that's that's how I do it a little Chromebook in the bathroom or I can take it around with me, but where else? I mean, what I was just talking about all the things I do while watching videos. So, in case you're whatever you're doing while you're watching my video, maybe you are getting ready for work <laughs> too, like I do in the morning. So, or whenever you go to work. Okay, so there's the front and the back. Super pretty now, right? We got it cleaned up. We got pretty papers in here. All nice and straight. Now I'm gonna, probably going to put some. I think on the last ones I did washi tape and I glued down. You know, I glued down the washi tape. If I use washi tape anywhere, I glue it down. Anywhere on pages or anything, I always glue it down because, you know, washi tape can come up unless I don't want, unless I'm just putting something down temporarily, which that wouldn't be temporary. So if I want it permanent, I glue it down. So. Uh, let's go ahead and work on this other one real quick in our last few minutes here. I'm probably going to run out of time, but the gingerbread man. I haven't seen in that one. I decided what paper I wanted before. I've got about three minutes, three or four minutes here. So, so this one we've got the purples, yellow, orange, green. You see that? So, um, in here, there was one paper that I really liked. Let me see that one. This, I like this one here, but I don't know if that's good for an inside page. Let me see what it looks like. See, this one has to be covered up because it's got writing. I mean, it's kind of got messy writing. To me, it's kind of messy. I mean, this part's not messy, but then this the child wrote their writing there, and that's kind of messy, so... See where I would put it like this. Let me tear it out so I can see if I like it. So it would be, you'd open up and you would see. See, I don't know if that's the perfect paper. I like this for maybe for a page. I don't know if I like it for the inside of the cover though. Let's see what else. Red. That might look nice. See, oh, his check is more orange though, but let me just see that. That's an option. I'm going to take a few minutes here that I have deciding probably. This is polka dot. I think is a two. Um, I don't know. It would be. It would be pretty. It's like these are options, but it's not. It's not grabbing me. You know what I mean? It would go. It would go. It would look fine, but it's not grabbing me. So that's the back cover. Let's look at this other one that I pulled out for this book. Here, this this he's got purple hat. And the gingerbread man lettering is in purple. So that's why I pulled out this one. So let's see. So 
So this stripe, see this has green here and this purple, purple, and this has purple and green. So this is an option. I like, I think I might like this. It would just be, see how pretty it is? I don't think it's too bold. I think it's just gonna, it would be very pretty. So you open up, you have the purple and yellow and all the other colors and you open up and there you have a pretty purple and green. I think I like this. And uh, so I think I'm going to go with this for the inside the front cover. Do I have another one of those? Or I just want to flip through here and make sure there's no other colors that I want to use. Oh, I do have more for the back cover. Okay. There's more of those. Here's some plain purples in here. And we could use some of these other coordinating colors for pages or um, pockets, you know, things like that. So I think I'm going to go with the stripes or the covers. Those just are calling to me. They, I think they would look the most, like, pretty. It doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be boyish or girlish. It can just be pretty for anyone. Okay, so I think I'm going to end it there. I think I'm out of time. But that is what I'm going to go ahead and put down, and then we'll continue with hopefully another video before I get done. <laughs> These, you know, you never know if I run out of a video time, like, because I just post one video per day. I will just go ahead and finish one of these and I'll come back with a flip through. You never know, right? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the beginnings of these uh, four journals, and I will see y'all next time. Have a great day and happy crafting.